which two prominent women are disappearing from your children's textbooks. Good evening and thanks for joining us on KLBK. I'm John Hansen. I'm Terry Furman. The Texas Board of Education is back under fire after voting to remove two significant female historical figures from Texas textbooks. Yeah, one is a prominent female politician and the first female nominee for president of the United States. The other, a blind, deaf activist, author, and lecturer. Roche Day has more about the backlash is coming from educators here in West Texas. Is it possible to rewrite history? Well, that's a question we ought to consider, because for the Texas Board of Education, it comes down to a simple vote, a vote that recently removed significant figures from our history books. Well, we feel that the State Board of Education has uh, taken a wrong vote on this issue. Uh, these are women uh, that have made a historical impact not only on the United States, but also on females that are uh, growing up. The board also voted to bring back biblical influences such as Moses and to keep references of Judeo-Christian values. So I believe that, that Christian values is something that should encompass every bit of learning. Continuous transition of our curriculum in public schools may give teachers more leeway to adapt their classrooms as they see fit, but it also has a greater impact on the nation. The state of Texas has looked at across the, the United States uh, because we have so many children, 5.4 million children in the state of Texas going into public schools. And so ultimately what happens in Texas eventually goes across uh, the United States. It has a tremendous amount of impact. I mean, when people don't see People that look like them, people that talk like them in history, they feel like they're not a part of the, of the fabric of America or the fabric of our history. People on both sides of the issue have strongly argued about politics playing a role in the education of our future generations. There has to be a, a discussion here and we need to have that, that discussion about being more inclusive when it comes to our historical narrative. These changes do not prohibit teachers from teaching on these topics. Rather, teachers are just not required to teach on these subjects. But with so many impactful changes, history as we know it today may soon look very different. Roche Ade, KLBK News. All right, thank you, Roche. Now, the final vote on these recommendations will actually be held in November.